Hi my friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely Nigerian milk pie. So sit back, relax and enjoy my friends, thank you very much. If this is your first time watching my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button of course, turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. Please share on social media, give it a like, thank you very much. So I'm going to get started straight away, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly bring my meat to the boil i'm gonna spice my meat and of course my my friends i'm using beef and of course after spicing i'm gonna make my dough and of course roll out my dough and pop my lovely filling straight in there so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna make the meat pie dough the meat pie fillings and of course i'm gonna make uh, i'm gonna roll out the dough and of course I'm gonna use cold water to mix it dough. So let's get started my friends, thank you very much. So sit back class and enjoy my friends, thank you very much. So I need uh, 1000 grams of uh, flour. So you can use um, 200 grams of flour, that's all right. Uh, you can use 250, you can use 500, but I'm using 1000 grams. So it's nice and easy to make, no worries my friends. So I'm gonna get started straight away. So my friends, I'm gonna weigh out my ingredient. So uh, before then, I have my beef ready. So I need um, about 500 grams of beef. So that's a lovely beef. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spice my beef quickly. So I'm gonna pop water in there. So you can see I have water in my beef. So what I'm gonna do now, my friends, I'm gonna quickly spice my beef. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit of sea salt. The sprinkle sea salt in there straight away. And I need uh I'll be right back, my friends. So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly pop, I already have sea salt right in there, so I'm going to pop black pepper with it. And of course my friends, I'm going to pop ground ginger straight away. You can see that, nice and easy. I'm going to pop a little bit of ground tomato. I'm going to spice that with turmeric as well. And of course, my friends, I'm going to pour paprika straight away. And now, my friends, I'm going to pour uh, brown onion quickly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly, you can use the chopping board if you like. I'm gonna do it by hand straight away. So 
So I'm gonna pop in my onions straight into this lovely, you know, beef. So I'm making a Nigerian beef pie. So I'm gonna quickly pop the onions straight away. So I have my onion right in there. Next, my friend, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly pop my garlic straight away. I'll be adding a little bit of cinnamon in there. That's all right. So I'm gonna put that away, I don't need that anymore. So now, my friends, I'm gonna pop the garlic straight in it. Nice and easy, my friends. Amazing. Look at that. Lovely recipe. So I'm going to peel the garlic skin with it. Nice and easy. Now, my friend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in my garlic straight in there. Now, my friend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop my lid on it. I'm going to bring that to boil until it's nice and cooked. So now my friends, I have my beef cooking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly make my lovely meat by dough while my beef is cooking. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my dough and pop my dough in the fridge. So now, I'm going to quickly make my lovely meat pie dough. It's nice and easy to make, my friends. Amazing. Lovely recipe, my friends. So I'm going to weigh out one kilogram of flour straight away. So I need a bowl, uh, I'm going to pop So I'm going to weigh out 1 kilogram of flour So I'm using the plain flour I need 1 kilogram of plain flour Nice and easy, my friends. Amazing. Lovely. So, my friends, I have 1000 grams of flour right in there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop in my sea salt straight in there. Nice and easy. That's one kilogram of flour. Now I'm gonna pop in a pinch of sea salt. Sea salt right in there. And of course, my friends, uh, I'm gonna pop one tablespoon of nutmeg. So I need my tablespoon. Okay. So now my friends, I'm going to pop one tablespoon of nutmeg right in there. So that's nutmeg, one tablespoon. So I'm going to put that away, I don't need that anymore my friends, straight away. So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop uh, I don't need my ginger, put that away, I don't need that anymore, I'm going to put that away, I don't need that anymore, I'm going to put that away, straight away. Uh, I don't need that anymore.
I don't need any more. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly mix that together. So I'll mix that together, I have my sea salt and not make not make mix together. Now I'm gonna pop one tablespoon of baking powder. I have one tablespoon of my baking powder. So I'm gonna put that away, I don't need it anymore. So I have my baking powder right in there, baking powder, nutmeg, sea salt, you can use, you can use your maggi, you can pop your maggi or not you in there, but that's alright, I'm not going to pop that, so now uh, I'm going to pop my butter straight in there, so I'm going to blend my butter together with it. Water. So I'm using 500 grams of water. So 500 grams of water right in there. And of course, my friends, I have my butter right in there. Of course, I need two eggs. So I'm going to beat my two eggs. So I need to whisk that. One. Two. So I'm going to beat that with my wheat. So I'm going to pop in vanilla flavor. You can pop in your, uh, just one tablespoon, you can pop in banana flavor, that's all right. So I'm gonna pop in vanilla flavor. One tablespoon, that's all right. So I'm gonna whisk that together, you see? So now my friend, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly blend that together, straight away. I'm going to blend everything together with butter and the flour. So, that's a lot of flour right in there. So, I'm doing one kilograms of flour. So, I'm going to gently mash that in. So I'll rub that in with my two pounds. Love the recipe, my friends. Amazing. So I'll keep mixing that. I want it nice and smooth. Thank you, Angie, for saying wow yummy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angie. So I'll quick, I'll quick rub it that in. Lovely recipe, my friends. Amazing, lovely. Look at that. So 
I'm rubbing that in. Smile and easy to make, my friends. Nice and easy. Thank you very much, Angie. So, uh, I'll keep rubbing that in. I'll keep rubbing that in. So the meat is cooking. So remember, my friends, as spicy meat. Yeah, you can taste it, Angie. Lovely. So uh, you can spice the meat uh, with um, with your lovely uh, spices. So I added onion, garlic, and of course I added um, uh, I added garlic, ginger, and of course. Turmeric, and of course, added cinnamon. So, you can add your favorite spices, that's all right, to spice your meat because you want to put your meat, you know, into the you want to mix your meat with the fillings. So, I'll be adding uh, uh, carrot, I'll peel the carrot, and of course. I'm gonna finally dice the carrot and I'm gonna finally dice my um, potatoes. So that's what I'm gonna do. So it's almost done, my friends. Look at that, amazing. So I rub that in, I rub that in. You can see how nice it is, look at that, lovely. So I already rubbed that in. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly make it well in the middle and pop in the rest of my ingredient. You know, you know what I mean, my friend. Amazing recipe. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly make it well in the middle now. Nice and easy. And I'm gonna pop in the eggs and the flavor. So uh, I need cold water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly pop uh, cold water in the freezer. So that uh, I'm washing my hands. We need cold water from the freezer or from the fridge. So I need just half glass of water, so I'll pop that in the freezer, okay? Uh, I should have done that before, but I forgot. So I'll pop that in the freezer, straight away. Water nice and cold, so I'll leave that for about two minutes. So while that is being kept in the freezer, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly peel my carrot and my uh, potatoes. So I'm gonna check what's going on. Here yeah, the meat is cooking, that's alright. So I'm gonna quickly peel my carrots straight away. So I'm gonna dice my carrot. So I have my carrot 
peeled already, so I need to peel my potatoes straight away. So I'll be using two medium size of potatoes. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop that in the bean. I'm gonna bean that with it. I don't need that anymore. So now my friends, I have, so I need to wash that, I'm going to wash that with you. So I'm going to dye that with you. So I need half of, uh, I need half bell pepper, I don't need to use everything, just half of that is alright. So I'm gonna pop that, set that aside with it. So uh, now I'm gonna clean my work surface. I want it nice and clean. So now my friends, I have my workforce surface nice and clean. So now I'm gonna dice my vegetables quickly. So my friends, I want my knife nice and sharp. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly make my knife nice and sharp so I can use it to dice my carrot and my lovely potatoes. So my friends, it's nice and easy to make my friends amazing. You can see my friends is nice and sharp. So now my friend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly um, dice my lovely carrot straight away. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that one there. So 
So now, I'm going to cut my color nice and sharp. So I'm going to make a julienne. And uh, okay. so now what I'm gonna do I made a Julian that's a Julian. Okay, let's pop both of them together straight away. We can use um, one and a half, that's all right. So my friends, I have julienne ready, so I'm going to dice them quickly, that's the julienne. Our meat is almost ready. So my friends, I'm gonna quickly dice my carrot now, straight away. All right, now it's ready. So now my friend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly dice my carrot now, straight away, nice and easy, so I need some space, I'm going to pull that one there, so I can have space. I'm going to pop that on the plate. So I have a finely dyed uh, color. Now, I'm going to pop that one there, straight away. I'll pop down the plate. So now my friends, I have my lovely carrots ready, so I'm not going to use everything. Let's see, this should be alright.
Lovely. So I'm not gonna use everything. So one carrot is ready. It's all right. You can use one carrot or one and a half carrot. So I'm gonna keep the remaining. I don't need everything. Just two handful of carrot. That's all right. I'll keep that. So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly dice my lovely uh, potatoes. My journey is to make my friends amazing. Look at the lovely. So my friends, I have my potatoes ready, so I'm going to dice this quickly. It's nice and easy to make my friends amazing. So I'll bring that to the boy quickly. I'm gonna parboil that. It's gonna be a lovely um, beef pie, lovely Nigerian meat pie. So I'm going to parboil my potatoes straight away. So I have the last one to dice. So I'm going to dice that one quickly. So I'm going to dice that quickly, straight away. So now my friends, I'm going to dice my potatoes and quickly parboil it. Our beef is almost ready. So I'm going to dice the julienne quickly. Amazing. Lovely recipe.
So now my friends, I have my lolly potatoes ready. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the papaya there straight away. So I'm gonna pop down the hole. I'm gonna check what's going on. Uh, the beef should be ready by now. So I'm gonna check. I'll like that to cool down. So I'm gonna try to see if it's nice and soft. So it tastes really nice. So our beef is nice and soft. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that to cool down for some time. But I'm just gonna cook it for like five more minutes. It's already soft, that's all right. So I'm gonna parboil my potatoes now, straight away. So I'm going to be using the um, green bell pepper, I'm using half of that, that should be alright. So I'm going to pop my pepper in there, that's my pepper, so I'm going to pop my pepper there, uh, lovely, that's alright, so I'm going to pop that in the fridge, I don't get any more. So my friends, when you're making your fillings, what you need is just um, carrots, pepper, and uh, potatoes. That's it. Nice and easy to make, my friends. Amazing. Lovely recipe, my friends. So now I have bell pepper ready because I have a handful of bell pepper two handful two handfuls of um, diced carrot and of course two handfuls of um, potatoes so my beef potatoes are ready so I turn that off so now my friends I'm gonna quickly finish up what I'm doing before my meat pie dough what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quickly pop that one there and finish up what I was doing before nice and easy no worries my friends now I have my lovely meat pie dough right here, the eggs right in there, so I'm going to pop in my lovely cold water straight away. So I'm going to gently pop my cold water right in there. I'm gonna use the wood spoon, the wooden spoon, which is nice and strong. So, 
So now my friends, I'm gonna pop my hand right in there because I want a ball of dough. I want it nice, you know. So I'm gonna pop my hand. I'm gonna mix everything with my hand. I want a smooth ball of dough. I don't want it watery, I don't want it hard, I want it nice and soft and you know, nice and round. So I'm mixing everything together, I have two eggs right in there. I have half glass of cold water and of course, baking powder, one tablespoon, nutmeg, one tablespoon, a little bit of sea salt right in there. Nice and easy my friends. Amazing. Love the recipe, my friends. Lovely. Amazing. Now, I have my lovely meat pie dough ready. Lovely. This is about one glass of water. If, if it's big one, it's half. But that size is alright. So exactly, that's what I wanted. So I'll keep mixing that now. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. So my friends, if this is your first time watching my lovely channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button of course, turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. So for joining this lovely live stream, I just made this lovely meat pie dough now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop that in the fridge. You know what I mean my friends, nice and easy. Look at that. It's nice and soft, one kilogram of flour, lovely. So now my friends, I have a lovely meat pie dough ready, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to form that into a ball, and make it like a ball, give it a few taps, lovely, I want it nice and smooth, I don't want it to crack, nice and perfect, lovely. Love the recipe, my friends. Amazing. Look, look at that, my friends. Amazing. Nice and smooth. No cracks. Look at that. Lovely. So now, my friend, what I'm going to do I'm gonna pop this lovely meat pie dough straight into, you know, I'm gonna bag that straight away and pop that in my lovely fridge. Look at that, nice and round, nice and smooth. Lovely. Lovely. So my friends, I'm gonna bag that now, quickly. I'm gonna pop that in the fridge. So, I'm gonna pop that in the fridge now, straight away.
So I'm gonna wash my hand now quickly. So now my friends, I have my meat ready and of course my potatoes ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly uh, make my sauce, that's the meat. So I'm going to dice the meat again. So now, uh, I'm going to dice my meat quickly. I'm going to put that where I don't need it anymore. I don't need to anymore. So now my friends, one minute, I'm going to quickly dice my meat straight away. I think it should be ready. I'm going to probe that quickly. Yeah, that's all right. That's over 70. Lovely. So, it's ready. So now my friends, I'm gonna dive my meat quickly. Because when you make a meat pie or beef pie, you need to shred the chicken or the meat. You want it nice? You can use your mortar or whatever. Well, I'm using the, I'm using my chef knife to finely dice it. So it's gonna come out very well in the fillings. You know what I mean, my friend? You don't want to pop that one into your meat pie dough. It tastes really nice. I'm going to try that one. Nice and soft. Look at that. Amazing. The meat tastes very well. It tastes really nice. Lovely. Lovely beef. So I'm going to dice everything straight away. It's really hot. We're making a live stream, so I cannot wait for it to cool down. Because the time is really moving fast. I need to dive my beef quickly and get started to roll up my lovely dough and pop my lovely meat pie in the oven. You can as well pop it. I'll show you how to pop it in the, on the pot, in the pot. 
on the saucepan, on the stove, or on the gas cooker. Lovely, amazing recipe, my friends. Amazing, lovely recipe. Look at that. Well spiced. I have a couple of beef left right in there so in just a minute I'm gonna dice everything quickly lovely Love the recipe, my friends. So now my friends, I have everything ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in, finally dice that, and get started straight away. Our dough is ready. So I'm gonna smash that. That is that okay. I want it nice and small. You can use your mortar if you like. You can blend it if you like. All right, now I'm almost there. So now my friends, our beef is ready, finely diced, lovely, now, so now my friends, what I'm going to do, 
I'm gonna quickly fry my uh, lovely sauce, my lovely fillings, quickly. So now, nice and easy. So I'm gonna pop in a little bit of olive oil on that one straight away. A little bit of olive oil. And now, I'm going to set that aside. So, what I need, I'm done, you know, dicing my carrot. I have, I have diced carrot ready. You know, bell pepper ready. So, I'm going to drain my parboiled potatoes so I'm gonna set that aside quickly while my oil is heating up I'll quickly pop that one there straight away nice and easy my friends amazing lovely So now my friends, I have my lovely veggies ready. So I have parboiled carrot, no I have carrot, diced carrot, diced bear pepper and of course parboiled potatoes. Now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly, you know, get started straight away. My meat pie do is in the, in the, in the uh, in the fridge and uh, I'm gonna quickly fry uh, my fillings straight away I'm gonna quickly bake everything so now uh, I'll just move my camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So that's all right. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly pour my lovely vegetables right in there, straight away. So now, I'm gonna fry my veg straight away. So I have my lovely carrot. Yeah. So we'll mix 
squeeze that together straight away. Nice and easy. That's it. Good now. So now my friends, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly pop my lovely beef right in there. Straight away. So I have my beef right in there. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly pop the stock right in there. So I have my stock right in there, and of course my friends, I'm going to pop in flour to thicken. So I'm going to pop in two tablespoons of flour, straight away. So, I'll thicken that with flour. So now, I'm going to mix everything together straight away, lovely. So I could just transfer that right here so it cooks quickly for me. So the saucepan we're gonna cook quickly, the frying pan is taking time. I don't wanna waste time my friends. When it's fully finished cooking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna transfer that in the frying pan again. It's nice and easy, my friends. Amazing. Lovely recipe, my friends. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. I'm gonna clean my my hog straight away. So I'm gonna leave that to cool. So now my friends, I have my meat pie fillings ready. So what I'm gonna do I'm 
I'm gonna quickly set that aside and the amazing lovely so that's the meat pie fillings so I'm gonna try that quickly see how it tastes Tastes really nice, lovely. So my friends, I'm gonna leave that to cool down. Lovely. So my friend, I'm gonna leave that to cool down for some time. Then I'm gonna get started to make my lovely meat pie. So while that is cooling down. I'm gonna quickly wash my dishes straight away. So in five minutes, I'm gonna get started straight away. Lovely, look at that amazing, lovely recipe, my friends. So I'm going to quickly wash my dishes straight away. Nice and easy. Amazing. Lovely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll my uh, lovely meat pie dough in the next 10 minutes and of course pop in the oven and that's it my friends nice and easy no worries lovely
my friends, we have five minutes more. In five minutes, I'm gonna quickly make my meat pie. It's gonna be nice and amazing, my friends. So I'm going to leave that here to cool down. So my friends, our, our feelings is almost cool, so uh, I'll work on that in five minutes. Thanks for your patience, my friend. Thank you very much.
So my friends, I'm done washing the dishes. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly roll out my uh, lovely dough. Thanks for your patience, my friends. I'm going to get started straight away. I wanted my uh, fillings to be nice and cold. You don't want to put a hot filling into your meat pie dough because it's going to tear up.
I'll be right back, my friends. Thank you very much. So now my friends, I have the dough ready, so I'm going to quickly pop that straight away. So I'm going to move my camera back straight away. So my friends, I'm back now. Sorry for the breaking transmission. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly roll out my dough straight away.
All right, my friends. Now, I'm going to roll out my dough, but I need more eggs. So now my friends, I have uh, two eggs, I'm going to beat that quickly. Now I have um, the beaten eggs, so I'm going to pop um, the pastry brush right in there straight away. Now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on the work surface straight away so now my friend what I'm gonna do I'm gonna you know cut a little bit of a uh, meat pie dough So I'm going to form a ball and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on the rolling pin straight away and of course my friends what I'm going to do I'm going to roll out the dough quickly So now, I'm going to pop in a little bit of flour on my meat pie cutter. And of course, uh, I'm going to pop in my lovely sauce, fillings, in the middle, and of course, I'm going to seal it up with egg wash, so basically you can just pop that one down, seal, seal up with egg wash, So that's the meat pie cutter. So you can see that it's nice and amazing, lovely. But I'm gonna show you how to do that without a meat pie cutter. 
Now, so now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll out again and roll out my lovely dough. So I'm going to use my paper cutter to make a round shape, okay, and of course I'm going to brush with egg wash, nice and easy, so I'm going to use my fork you know, to seal up the edges. Look at that amazing lovely. So if you don't have a cutter, you can do it that way. That's alright. So now, I'm going to quickly, I want to bake that in the oven straight away. But I'm going to show you how to use the pot or a saucepan to make yours. So I'm going to roll that out quickly. Look at that. Amazing. So I have to pop them on the tray. So I'm gonna preheat my oven in the next five minutes. I'm gonna bake this straight away. It doesn't take time to get baked. Look at that, amazing, lovely. So now my friends, I'm gonna preheat my oven straight away.
So we can preach the oven to 190 or 180, that's a lie. Amazing. Love me. So I'm going to bake that straight away. Just keep doing it like that. So I have another cutter. I'm going to show you how to use that one as well. Nice and easy. Amazing. Lovely. So one more now, I'm going to pop that in the oven straight away. Nice and easy my friends. 
Amazing, love it. Lovely, look at that. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glaze that with egg wash straight away. Lovely. Give it a quick shine with egg wash. So now my friends, I'm going to pop that in the oven straight away. So I'm going to bake that for about 25 minutes. So while that is in the oven, I'm going to roll out the remaining uh, meat by dough straight away. Nice and easy. Lovely. So I'm going to show you how to use um, the other cutter. So our meat pie, I'm going to show you in the next 20 minutes, our lovely meat pie, how it came out. It's gonna be nice and amazing, my friends. Lovely. Should be ready in 20 minutes. Lovely recipe. So I'm going to show you how to use the other quarter, it's very nice, like a triangle, lovely. So I'm going to brush the edges with egg wash again, 
just like I did the other time. So I'm gonna close it straight away. Nice and easy. So that one is a triangle. It looks really amazing. Lovely. So that's a triangle. So I'll keep making the round one and some triangles as well. So I'll, brush, I'll brush that with egg wash again, same way, I'm going to cover that. Lovely. So I'll repeat that every time until I'm done with that. So before I'm done with this, then um, the one in the oven is going to be ready and I'm going to show you how it came out straight away and that's it my friends in less than 15 minutes we're done with the live stream this is one kilogram so when you make a meat pie meat pie making meat pie is very difficult it takes longer time so if you want to make meat pie you cannot make a smaller quantity you cannot make a bigger quantity take lots of time and effort to make it love the recipe
So my friends, I'm going to check what's going on in the oven. So I'm going to show you how the meat pie came out. It should be ready now.
So now my friends, I'm gonna glaze that one down quickly with egg wash and of course I'm gonna pop it straight in the oven and remove the other one from the oven straight away our meat pie is ready nice and easy amazing love the recipe my friends look at that lovely look at the triangle ones the triangular ones and of course the semicircle ones lovely so i'm going to pop that straight in the oven straight away So my friends, I'm going to check the other one now, quickly. It should be ready now. So it's ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glaze it for the second time before you know I knock it out from the oven. So I'm gonna leave it for another two minutes. Nice and easy. You can see it's almost ready, so I'm going to pop, pop it back in the oven. So now my friend, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly roll the remaining ones. So in 10 minutes, we'll end the live stream. Show the way. I'm going to roll that one out. Quickly. Amazing recipe, my friends. Lovely.
So I'm done. What I'm gonna do, uh, I have that left, so I could just quickly throw that one out. Just clean it like that. It's really nice. Then I could just roll into, you know, like a fish or something. That's it. I'm gonna wash my hands with it. Seal up the edges like that. And that's it. Now I'm going to check what's going on. So now, my friends. Our uh, meat pie is ready, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna try one. I'm gonna show you how it came out straight away. Lovely. Trying to clean my. Uh... So I need. Uh... I'm gonna fold those ones. That one there. Nice and easy. So I'm gonna glaze that with egg wash straight away. Give it a quick shine. So now I'm gonna pop that one in the oven straight away. And of course, my friends, I'm gonna quickly clean my work surface and show you how the meat pie came out. It came out absolutely amazing, my friends. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely recipe, my friends. Amazing. Lovely. I'm gonna put that away. I don't need any more, my friends. Lovely.
all of my friends now I finish cleaning so now I'm gonna show you how we came out lovely So my friends, I'm gonna show you how we came out. Lovely. Look at that. Amazing. Look at how shiny it is. Lovely recipe. Lovely meat pie. So I'm gonna try it now, my friends. It's really nice. So I'm gonna show you how it came out. So my friends, I'm gonna try one now. You can see, How nice it is. Lovely. That's the one I did without uh, the cutter. I used a fork to do that. So now, my friends, I'm gonna cut that in half. Look at that. Look at the steam. Look at the meat right in there lots of beef right in there and of course look at the potatoes and everything lovely feelings so i'm gonna try it it's nice and hot you enjoy meat pie when it's hot you don't eat it when it's cold my friends so i'm gonna try it now nice and hot lovely lovely recipe my friend amazing So my friends, that's the meat pie I'm talking about, the Nigerian beef pie. So please share, like, and subscribe, and turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. Check out my live stream, check out my playlist, you find out that I've made lots of videos. You can check them out, videos around the world, you know, check them out, give it a like, share it on social media. I'll see you next time my friends. Bye bye. Cheers. You can also check my short videos on how I made a meat pie and chicken pie. But this is the live stream one. That's alright. Cheers, my friends. Bye bye. Cheers.